Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie. Oh, look what I found. Nashville hot sauce, spicy chili pepper with a hint of smoke from Buffalo Wild Wing. Wow. Huh? I've uh, made homemade Nashville hot chicken. I'll put a link at the end of this video if you want to check it out. And I've tried some. I'm busy. I forgot to turn my phone down. Um, I tried a couple other sauces from that, and they're really, really, really good. I found this at our local public store, grocery store. So, wings are incredibly expensive these days. So, I've got some drumsticks, okay? I've got four. It's just Tom and I. That's plenty. So, you get a whole pack, separate it in four, and then vacuum seal it. Boom. It's cheaper. All right, over here. This is the collapsible batter bowl, all right? I always list it when I uh, use it, or not. I, sometimes I put it on there. It's really nice. It's beautiful. There's no leaking, nothing. So this is about three quarter cups of uh, flour. So we're gonna do some naked drumsticks, okay? Naked chicken, and we're gonna put some of that sauce on there because I don't wanna screw it up too much. All right, look at this. We got a half a cup. We're gonna dry this out. Half a cup of cornstarch. We are gonna dry this skin up so we get a nice crispy coating, okay? That's the method to my madness. Um, I usually have potato starch, but I ran out, so I'm, I always have cornstarch handy just in case. All right, so you put that top on there. Drop these bad boys in there. Look how big they are. Pop this out, all right. Let's shift that flour and cornstarch up a little bit there. Here we go. Shake it back and forth. Watch the magic. Because you know, it, when you have skin on chicken, it releases grease when you're cooking it. And um, it, it's going to get it crispy. I don't have to, you know, worry about uh, the skin getting, you know, I don't know how to say it. Moisturized again? I don't know how to say it. Anyways. Okay, look at this. You guys ready? Watch this. Oh my god. Okie dokie. I'm just gonna keep on rolling. Here we go. The handy dandy air fryer. This is the Rapid Crisp by DeLonghi. The beauty of this air fryer is it has a bottom burner. Look at that. So I do not have to flip my chicken over, but you have to flip your chicken over halfway. You want an internal temperature of 165 when it's chicken, okay? So if you're new to the air fryer game, get yourself a meat thermometer. It's very important. All right. So let's spray the bottom just to give it some help to cook that flour coating up. Okay. This is an Evo sprayer. Et voila. It comes in a pack of two. The other one has a uh, garlic infused oil by Tsang, which I love. Let me get some tongs. So I don't get my hands dirty. All right. So here we go. That is beautiful. I'm telling you, starch. Starch is your best friend. Don't let them touch. Okay. I could have put two more of these babies in there and I'd have been fine. Okay. So there we go. Now I'm going to spray the tops of this, but not quite yet. Okay. I'm going to give it a chance to dry up and, you know, cook on there a little bit. But get yourself an aerosol spray. You know? So that's a good top sprayer oil for you. Olive oil. Don't spray it with Pam nonstick spray. Don't do that. If I find out, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you. Alright, so here we go. I'm not gonna cook it too fast. Alright? Full blast, it's not necessary when you have an air fryer. Get the nice golden fried chicken color. You know what I mean? That's that's the point of this. Because if you cook it on full blast, you're probably gonna get some burnt looking spots. It's, it's just my thing. I don't like it. Alright, so let's go. I'm gonna go. You got french fry, pizza, chicken, casserole, manual. I like manual. I, that's my go-to. I can go to chicken. All right, let's go to chicken. Why not? It's got the leg there, so anyways. Bottom burner is lit. That's good. 30 minutes. Probably so because I'm lowering the heat, okay? It's on number three. It's good. I'm going to get achieve the color that I want and turn it down till it's fully cooked. 165 degrees, all right? So that's how you do your beautiful fried chicken. Here we go. I'll be back, you guys. All right, you guys. Here's what I did. As you can see, I changed it to manual and bumped it up to four. 
that was at the 30 minute mark it was nice and gold but i wanted it darker i haven't checked the temperature so let's do that Ooh, look at that Listen. that is beautiful all right so don't hit the bone i want to pick the side of the chicken here oh look listen there 200 Psh, well well cooked so you could do 20 minutes i say 22 minutes on the uh, regular setting if you want to know what the temperatures mean it's all listed down below with the numbers and uh, settings i do 22 minutes on that uh chicken setting and then switch it to manual bump everything up high heat the highest heat you can get on your air fryer i'm gonna plate that actually i'm gonna do this in front of you all right just so you can see you want to do this while your chicken's hot eh? Look at that bottom. Come on. This is going to be just all oh good. Look at this big bad boy. Yes. So I'm going to put some of that sauce on it. Ah, oh, you didn't open the tab, Booker. And try not to toss it with tongs or spoons or anything. Just I'll show you what to do. I, I saw this at Hooters. Best wings in the world. Hooters. Oh, look at that. That is a beautiful sauce. That should be enough. I didn't even use half of it. <whistles> Hello. Hello, my darling. All right. So I'm just going to roll them around. I'm going to plate it and taste it for you. I'll be back. All right, you guys. I let it cool. Look at that beautifulness. Isn't it? Oof. Let's go. Now, even if you went up to 200 degrees on that temperature, it's not going to be dry. Trust me. I've not gotten any dry meat out of an air fryer yet. And I've been doing this since 2012. Okay? Look at that. Wow. Mm-hmm. Nice and crispy. That is awesome. That tastes really good. Now, you guys, it's spicy, okay? I got a little bit of ranch there, but I do taste some smoke in the back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very, very nice. It's not a spicy kind of level that just lingers. It's just a little bit at the beginning, and then it's like you, the smoke overpowers it a little bit. Very nice. I like it a lot. A scale of 1 to 5, I'd give this a good 4.8. If you like spicy, Nashville chicken is a little different than buffalo or hot. You know what I mean? but that smoke flavor is very nice in that nicely done you guys so instead of going out to the restaurant you can make it at home right all right guys thanks for shopping bye bye